Hello everyone. Hello students. In this part, we are going to learn pointer arithmetic operations on C as well as how to access array values using a pointer. Okay, so first we'll see a pointer arithmetic and we move on to the operations on C. So first here, pointer variables are used to store the address of the variables. Yes, we know that pointer are used to store the address of the variable. Address of the variables is assigned integer value because why it is unsigned integer value? What do you mean unsigned integer value? Address every time it will be there, like only integer type. Why? So it is a maximum size unsigned only positive size of integer value because the address will be terms of integer value only. Address values will be in terms of integer value. That's the reason I have given address of any variable is unsigned integer value. That is, it is numerical value. So we can perform arithmetic operations and pointer values also. Though that means to increment the next operation to next to, to go for the next variable address to access the next uh, variable addresses, we go for the pointer arithmetic operations. But we can perform arithmetic operations with pointer variable. The result depends upon the amount of memory required for the variable is to be which pointer to pointing okay next what are the things we can perform in the pointers addition subtraction increment decrement and comparison these things can be performed by the pointers first we will see addition of the pointers so, so first i have declared int a int pointer float b for that for int a variable i have created int pointer float b i have created float pointer so int ptr equal to ampersand a assume address of a is equal to thousand for example whereas a is stored at thousand for example if you think that a is stored at thousand so float vtr b so b i am assigning so what is this assigning address of a to that pointer assigning address of b to that pointer assigning a variable that is a variable to this double pointer so int pointer is equal to int pointer plus 3 what happens here int pointer plus 3 int pointer is the address of the what address of what which one for example address of a address of a plus 3 what happens it increments it increments the three memory sizes it increments the three memory sizes of int for example int um, stores how many variable uh, how many bytes of memory two bytes by considering 16 bit architecture int stores two bytes if i write int ptr plus 3 it increments three memory locations if it is not like normal integer addition it is like in uh, pointer integer addition what happens is pointer will increment to next three integer addresses next three integer address that is what is given here integer pointer is equal to thousand for example if i'm thinking int pointer starts at the thousand address for for time being i'm thinking that thousand plus so plus three again but here why it is into two each integer stores how much memory two bytes of memory three into six three into two six sub six addresses will be added to this thousand that means i am going to redirect it to next three addresses values for example my first first variable stored at thousand second variable of integer will store it where thousand not two next thousand not four next thousand not six next my i am redirecting which thousand not six variable it increments to three memory locations three memory locations float ptr is equal to next one float ptr is equal to float ptr plus two i'm incrementing how many memory locations two memory locations how much each pointer increments float pointer increments to four bytes because float occupies four bytes of memory so four so that is by thinking 2000 is the memory addresses so 2000 plus 2 into 4 by why i have given 2 into 4 4 bytes each float occupies four bytes of memory 2 into 4 how much eight bytes so it increments to eight bytes that is 2008 it goes to 2008 that means i'm going for the for the second memory location second memory location from the now so current memory locations to next second memory locations i'm redirecting for it is not like normal incrementation how uh, addition how normal integer is done this is different where memory locations will be incremented that means if i increment plus three three memory locations will be incremented based upon which type of pointer it is if it is it if i give if i increment four it increments four memory locations based upon how much what is the variable which type of pointer variable it is okay that is you see pointer subtraction the same as it decrements uh, how uh, addition will be done for the addition 
it increments to how many teacher values given that many number of memory allocations will be incremented likewise here also that many number of uh, memory allocations will be decremented memory allocations will be decremented same as this see so that is point arithmetic it is not like a normal addition or normal subtraction how we do on integer it is how much I have given plus I, if I give a plus three, it increments three memory locations. If I give minus three, it decrements three memory locations of particular variable, particular pointer type of variable. Okay, that is about that. So next increment operation same as plus one, plus two, plus like us. How we are incrementing? Increment decrement is plus plus. It increments one memory location. Minus minus it decrements one memory location. That is about increment and decrement. Next. So comparison of pointers, comparison pointers, comparisons of pointers operation performed between pointers same data type only. So comparison can be done only between same data type only. In C programming languages, we can use or comparison operators, relational operators with with all pointers. We can also use relational operators. All the relations, what are there? Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, plus plus, um, equal to equal to, not equal to. These are the uh, relation operators that can be performed on the pointers we cannot perform what are the things we cannot perform multiplication and division operations cannot be performed on pointers remember in arithmetic operations we can only perform addition subtraction but we cannot perform multiplication and division operations on the pointers so only arithmetic if arithmetic operations in arithmetic operations we can only perform addition subtraction so if i do addition what happens that how many number of value that means how many number of memory locations will be incremented if i give uh, subtraction that many number of memory location will be decre decremented remember it is not like a normal integer addition normal integer uh, subtraction it is if i add add three numbers three value it increments three memory locations if i give uh, four it increments for memory location memory location is based upon the number what is the type of a variable type that is integer type it increments to six uh, for example three memory location three into two six memory locations if it is float three into four twelve memory locations three into if it is double three into eight twenty four memory locations will be incremented based upon the number of location based upon the memory allocations it will be incremented or decremented so that is about pointer arithmetic now we'll see pointers and arrays so that means how arrays can be accessed by using a pointer so first tell me how to access a normal variable whereas arrays are the collection of same type of variables tell me how to access normal variable using a pointer a, 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 a. and i'm writing another pointer variable star I am having a link between A to B to A. So that is, so B is there, A is there, and something P is there. P is A is having storage of 10, and it is, for example, 2000, it is having storage of 2000. That means we have created a link between the two. To access the value of this A, stored at A, I am using P equal to ampersand A. How many variables are there here? Only one variable there. If at all, if I am going with array, int A of 5, how many variables are there here? Five variables. But how many pointers we use here? Only one pointer. We need only one pointer to access this array. How it is sir? So only we store the first first address of the that is p equal to ampersand a of zero. That means what is first address a of zero? Ampersand why? What is the ampersand with address of first variable? Address of first variable. Because so whenever I create a of five, how many variables will be created? A of zero and so on. A of four, of five, five variables will be created. So what is the first memory allocation? Memory address a of zero. So I'm allocating p is equal to ampersand of a of zero. When I allocate first memory allocation to a pointer, it automatically increments to next next memory location, next memory location, next memory location. Because by using a pointer arithmetic, up to now we have seen pointer arithmetic. What do you mean by pointer arithmetic? If I do p plus 1, what p plus 1, what happens? It goes to the next memory allocation of the particular variable. Which type of variable it is? Integer. p plus 1. If it is p plus 1, how many bytes will be incremented? 1 into 2. 2 bytes will be incremented. That is next memory location. If at all, if I write p plus 2, what happens? It goes to the 4. That means next
next memory location next p plus 3 that means by using a pointer arithmetic i can access all the variables which are there in a array 0 1 2 3 4 that means p is equal to first memory location p plus 1 second p plus 2 third p plus 3 fourth p plus 4 fifth fifth memory location. that means by using a pointer arithmetic i can access all the variables in a no array so that means how many no, how many pointer variables need for array tell me only one pointer variable is needed for accessing whole length of an array it may be how much length it may be so 500 may be there 600 may be there. how much length it may be there array it may be there only how many how many pointer variables we need only one pointer variable we need to access we need needed to access all the point all the array numbers or all the array values Okay, is this clear? Now, so let's take int num equal to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, I have declared a num5. What is num5? Num5 is the my array. So, what is happening here? When I have declared in the last previous slide, when I have explained about arrays, I have said about int a, a of 5, int a of 5 or int num of 5. A is what? What is a? A is the name of array. Name of array. What the name of array stores? Name of a stores the first address of the first that is base address of the array. That means it stores the first base address of the array. So when I when I have taken a value a, that means value of a, so a stores the first address that is a of zero address of a of zero is equal to a. Name of array is the internal pointer variable. It stores the base address that is first address first address of the array first address of the array. That means when I am assigning the pointer, I can directly write p equal to a also. That is, if at all, if I am declaring a of 5, if I am declaring a of 5, so I directly give a name of the array to store the address of the first variable. First variable because a itself, a itself is the internal pointer variable, it stores the base address of the array, base address of the array. So, same thing I have done here. So, yes, what is the name? Num is the name of the array. Yes, name of the array. So, num num takes what is the num if i write num first first value will be accepted if i write num plus 0 it is the first value so num plus nothing i am incrementing num plus i num plus that is num plus 1 what is the num plus 1 num plus 1 is the second num plus 2 third num plus 3 fourth num plus 5 sixth likewise how can i do that increment by using a i i operation that means if i write i value if i change i value so how a normal value will be x in number of 0 that is the index value Likewise, num star of num plus 1, star of num plus, how, okay, how I can write, I can write anywhere, this way or this way, this way. So, anything is possible. So, that is, if I write int star ptr is equal to a, for example, int star ptr is equal to after send a, so as I said, so, where a is a internal pointer variable, I can directly assign a to star ptr or else I can directly assign first address of the, where, for, what is this address of a? A of 0, address of A of 0. So, address of A of 0 is first variable. A of 0 is first variable. Likewise, so A stores what? A stores the first variable address. So, so, no need to write ampersand because A itself stores address. Here, I am writing ampersand because I am giving a address of A. So, address of A of 0. That is, to give address of A of 0, I am writing P here. So, this is also correct. This is also correct. When I have assigned a pointer to uh, array, so, this installation is also correct. This installation is also correct. You can go any any of these two, any of these two. So, okay, you can write any of these two variable. So here, star ptr means first address, first first value, first value. Star ptr is a, remember ptr means address. Star ptr means value. Remember star ptr means value at that given address. Ptr means the address given in the ptr. Okay. So star ptr plus i star. Uh, you can write anyway. So star ptr uh, star i plus ptr so any so this is addition so automatic you can perform addition like this or like this so i plus ptr also same so this is also correct if i write like this so for normal declaration normal taking array we write num first we write num and index will write inside but here pointer should write in inside and should write outside that is also correct you can write any way so how this see so num of 0 1 num of 1 is 2 so 2 3, 4, 5. Likewise, it is storing 1000. Let us take 1000 is first my base address, 1000 or 2, 1000 or 4, 1000 or 6, 1000 or 8. Because 
फर्स्ट विथ थाउजेंड बिकॉज इट इज इंटीजर स्टार्ट विथ थाउजेंड नेक्स्ट इंटीजर वेरियबल ना स्टार्ट विथ टू सो इट टेक्स टू बर्ड नेक्स्ट टेक्स टू बर्ड टू बर्ड टू बर्ड टू बर्ड दट मीन फर्स्ट दिस फर्स्ट वैल्यू टेक्स थाउजेंड थाउजेंड नॉट वन थाउजेंड नॉट टू थाउजेंड नॉट थ्री थाउजेंड नॉट फोर थाउजेंड नॉट फाइव थाउजेंड नॉट सिक्स थाउजेंड नॉट सेवन थाउजेंड नॉट एट थाउजेंड नॉट नाइन दीज आर द बेस वैल्यूज so values address values will be there so whereas where this address is called as what this thousand is called as thousand is called as base address so who stores this base address a stores the base address that is first name of the array stores the base address remember name of the array stores the base address name of the array stores the base address okay next int so i am writing a simple example program int num equal to 5 1 2 3 4 5 So i equal to star ptr. What do you mean by i? i is the integer. Star ptr. Star ptr means I am declaring a pointer variable. So here I have root written ptr is equal to num. Directly I have given a num. So what is the num? Num means the name of the array. What is the name of array? Name of array stores the base address, first address. So base address I have asked, given link to ptr. Now ptr ptr has having a link for first which address? Base address. That is first address of the Array next for i equal to zero i less than five i plus plus print f slash and percent l d percent l d star p t r star num plus i star p t r star 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 p t r means what is in star p t r so what is the value at the first address star is the what is the value at the first address what is the value at the first address one will be printed yes one will be printed next it increments next it increments next it increments so p t r is here to print the value here okay so next num I will be incremented zero one two three four. Actually, it is to be there star ptr plus one. So here I am incrementing a ptr. That's the reason I am not written a ptr plus one. Okay, I am incrementing every time pointer. So pointer will be incremented to next value star of num plus one is star of num num is first address. Okay, plus i. So it increments to next value, next value, next value like that. This is array two. How to write array? So how to write a pointer to array? How to write a pointer to array? So how how pointer to Two-dimensional array will be the same like. So, but here how many number of columns? So here in a one-dimensional array we have one column only one row and number of columns will be there. So how many pointers we are using? One pointer. Likewise, here how many rows are using in two-dimensional array? That many pointers we need because every point, every row needs one pointer. Every row needs one pointer. We can increment per column, but we can increment per the row. So that's the reason. So we have to take how many number of Rows are there. That many pointers we have to declare. So for every pointer, this how many pointers will be there here? Three pointers will be created. Star p of three. That means p of zero, p of one, p of two. That means three pointers will be created. For every pointer, we have to assign first row. That so first uh, value of row. First value of row. So if at all if it is p of zero, p of p of zero, zero. Next if it is p of one, p of one zero. P of two, it is P of P of two three two one. So likewise, we have to assign that. So here, what is that here? It is there. So first will be taken by the first pointer. Next row is taken by second pointer. Next row is taken by third one. So three pointers we have to take. So to uh, how to access that one? So A is equal to points the first row. Yes, points the first row. A plus I is the points the i row. So what is i row? Row over the row one plus one. So star A plus i. This is row wise. To increment the row wise. Like this, we go with the star a plus i plus j is points to the j to element of i throw. So if I want, if I want to j throw in the i th element, I will go with this. So value stored in the i throw and j th column is star of star a plus i plus j. So we have to write total star. This is only to act as the element of j, but to give the element points to j th element point only point that is addressing. Here to print the value at that one. Star star a plus i j at the end. Okay, now this is how two-dimensional array to be accessed by using the pointer. So how many pointers we need to access the two-dimensional array? We need how many number of rows are there for two-dimensional array? That.